Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. In this, the fourth of a series of videos on folder tracks in Pro Tools, we're looking at uh, folder tracks. These happen to be routing folders, but that's kind of irrelevant because what I'm looking at is nesting folder tracks and uh, how to control them and some of the limitations that involves. To that end, I've made uh, a session purely of folder tracks, which is a nonsense because it contains no content, no MIDI, no audio, no nothing. But Stuff can get quite confusing if you're not used to it when we've got content mixed up with foldering. So I just thought I'd reduce it just to the foldering structure and nothing else. So what I've got, I mean, you can open and close a folder. This is what they're for. And here, for example, we've got a folder that contains another folder. This blue 1E folder contains the orange 1F folder. And if I click here, I can open and close it. If I make an edit selection on here, this is something that we will return to in a session with some content in it because it gets quite interesting. But uh, uh, I can hit uh, Shift and F and I can open and close a folder, or I can. There's no folders in uh, 1F, but uh, if I hit P to move my edit selection up uh, to 1E, I can open and close that folder and 1F is toggling in and out of visibility. And you can see that reflected in the tracks list there. This is important. We'll be coming back to this. Also, if you notice, we've got the grey, the dark grey edit selection. And we've also got a light grey patch underneath. That's an implied edit selection. We will come back to that. Things get very interesting because the further you go, you get more and more implied edit selections. And when you go out of one folder and across the hierarchy of... Uh, nesting, things get much more interesting. We'll come back to that. We won't talk about that right now. So what can we do when we're in here? Well, we can nest layers of uh, of folders. And here, that's exactly what I've done. I've got nests of layers of folders within folders within folders, and they can go up to eight deep. But here, if I get, uh, for example, this one here, which contains this one here, and I try to move it into this folder, I get a red circle. That's indicating that I can't do that. But if I go into the next one, also red, go into the next one, suddenly we're in yellow. That means that we're within that eight folders deep uh, hierarchy. But here, we've gone across that eight limit and we can't do it. And that's what it's telling us. If I let go of this here, it's going to do this. These tracks can't be moved. There are only eight levels of folders. So that warns you from there. Also, you can do similar stuff from here, and it's actually much easier to manipulate and understand the folder structure and the nesting from here. So if I pick this up, which contains quite a few, and I kind of drag it into here, that's absolutely fine. If I let go, there we are. However, if I take them over here, red, 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 and then as soon as we're down below, and we're going to have to go quite a way to find a level far enough down the folder structure, here we are, and we can drop those there. And we're within that eight deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So what about controlling these layers of folders? You can toggle the status of these folders using the disclosure triangles here, or, of course, the folder icons down there. But there are some handy shortcuts to be aware of. So the first one is uh, if you hold Command, it'll toggle the entire folder structure. Now, this does look as if it doesn't do anything. Here, I'm not holding a, a, a command, and the entire folder structure gets toggled anyway. If I hold command, looks exactly the same. The difference is this. If I close some of these, and I don't hold command, I'm toggling that top-level folder, and when I open it up, the stuff that I had closed is still closed. If I hold down Command, I'll just close that. It makes no difference. But if I hold down Command now and click to toggle this open again, everything gets unfolded. That's what it means. So if it looks like it's not working, that's why. It can be confusing when you're getting used to it. There are some variations. Option, Alt, Click, opens and closes all folders in the same layer. That means that if I hold Option here, it closes not only this one, but this one and this one as well. If we put these away, close some stuff above that level, those are still closed. So all it's doing is it's closing and opening the folders on this layer here, but not anything below. 
if toggling everything from the layer that you're on all the way down the structure is what you're after, then if you add command to that, so it's option and command, or alt and control on a PC, and you click, then you get this. Which is toggling everything underneath as well. So that's opening and closing all folders in the same layer. So that's sibling layers, ones that are on the same layer and below as well. So from that point down the dendritic folder structure gets confusing. Try it and you will get there as long as you've got some stuff closed in the first place, which confused me greatly when I was getting used to it. If you want to be more specific than that, what you can do is you can select, I prefer working from the tracks window than either in the edit or the mix window. I'll hold command and make some specific selections here. And then if I hold Option or Alt and Shift, I can toggle all selected folders. Like so. So there's some useful shortcuts for controlling the toggle on-off state of your folder tracks.